Hi, this is Jeff, your ProtoPy expert, answering your ProtoPy questions. Today's question comes from Atharva, who asks, are there any tutorials on the complex variables like touch X and touch Y? What Atharva is referring to as complex variables are actually the predefined variables built into ProtoPy. I'm going to show you an example of one, and then I'll show you where to find all of them. In my Pi, I have a simulation of a camera app. If I preview this, you're going to see I get these diagonal moving stripes. This indicates the camera is on. If I were to preview this on my phone, I'd actually see the camera image, but on desktop, we don't get that. We just get these stripes instead. What I'd like to do is be able to tap anywhere in the camera image and move this square as if I'm setting the focus point in my image. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to add a tap trigger. And I'd like this to be on the camera layer. You're going to see when I click on the select layer box, I get a lot of layers in here. I could search through and try to find it, or I can just start typing the name in this box and it will give me a filtered list. And I want this one that says camera. And whenever I tap, I want to move this box. So I'm going to use the move response. And I'd like to use that on the focus, which is this box right here in the middle. Now, normally you would put in definite X and Y coordinates in pixels, but in our case, it's different every time I tap. ProtoPy offers built-in variables for where I touched on the screen, and they are touch X and touch Y. And I'm gonna show you how to use them. If you click on this input box, you're gonna see there's this FX icon, and you'll see this in a lot of the input boxes in the properties panel over here. This means formula. And if you've ever used formulas in Excel, this is gonna be pretty familiar. If I click that, it expands my box out into formula mode. And this is where I can write a formula. And I'm going to use dollar sign. And dollar sign indicates that I want to use a predefined variable. And I'm going to write touch x. And in the y, I'm going to do the same thing. Click the formula button. And dollar sign touch y. Instead of me using absolute numbers, I'm using these placeholders. And these will get filled in by ProtoPy anytime I tap somewhere on the screen. So when I preview this, you're going to see if I tap up here in my image, the box moves to where I tapped. And same thing if I tap down here or over here. Now, touch X and touch Y are just two of the predefined variables that ProtoPy offers. You can find them all on ProtoPy's website. And if you go to the uh, Learn tab and go to Documentation, you're going to land on this screen. And about halfway down, you'll see the variable section. And if you expand that down, there is this predefined variables section in here. And you're going to see touch X and touch Y. Those are the ones we just used. Um, there's mouse X and mouse Y, and that's the position of the mouse every time I move it around on the screen. So if I wanted something to react to wherever I move the mouse, I could use these. Uh, you've got something called touch velocity, and that's how fast I'm swiping, for example. Uh, and then touch velocity X and Y, that separates out horizontal and vertical speed. So if I wanted to make decisions based on just the vertical or just the, the horizontal, I could do that. Uh, touch pointer count, that's how many fingers were touching the screen. So if I wanted to do something different, depending on whether or not I touch with one finger or two, you can do that. Uh, keyboard height, this is a built-in variable that gives the native height of a keyboard on various devices. So it's different from iOS and Android, for example. And if you needed to react to the keyboard height, this will fill it in based on the device you're using. The device OS, that gives you uh, what OS you're using. So you know, um, iOS or Android. Uh, pi, this is the mathematical number pi. Time, that's how many seconds have passed since the prototype has started and voice transcript. If you're doing anything with um, the voice control, you can simulate something like you know, uh, Alexa or Google Home. You can use voice control in your prototypes. Voice transcript is what shows the recording of what's been heard. These are all the predefined variables that you can use in your prototype. There you go, easy as pie. If you've run into a snag with any of the pies you're working on and you'd like to ask us for help, check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.